Mr. Lee bought a bag of snacks. Three-fourths of the snacks were yogurt bars and the remaining snacks were chocolate bars. His sons would share the chocolate bars equally among themselves and his daughters would share the yogurt bars equally among themselves as well. Each son got one-eighth of the snacks while each daughter got one-fourth of the snacks. How many sons and daughters does Mr. Lee have? If each son got three chocolate bars and each daughter got six yogurt bars, how many snacks did Mr. Lee buy? <clears throat> We're going to solve this problem visually. Uh, so let's take a look at the pictorial representation of what Mr. Lee bought, the snacks. So let's say this is all the snacks that Mr. Lee bought. Three-fourths of them are yogurt bars. <clears throat> YB stands for yogurt bars. And one-fourth of the snacks are chocolate bars. CB stands for chocolate bars. Well, that's fine. He bought three-fourths of, three of the snacks that he bought were yogurt bars and one-fourth were chocolate bars. Now, we also know one more thing that each son got one-eighth of the snacks. And another thing to remember, let's erase all that, <clears throat> that the girls shared the yogurt bars, the daughters, and the sons shared the chocolate bars. So these went to the sons for S. These went to the daughters. D stands for daughters. Let's erase all that. Question also says one more thing. Each son got one-eighth of the snacks. So how many times one-eighth goes into one-fourth? Actually twice because one-fourth, when you cut one-fourth, into two you get one eight. So let's take a look. Let's change our picture slightly. <clears throat> now what we have here is a better representation of our scenario. Um, that the girls got one fourth of the yogurt bars. So this must have gone to one girl, daughter one, daughter two, and daughter three. Because the question says each girl got one-fourth of the snacks. The boys got one-eighth of the snacks and we know there are two eighths in one-fourth so son one, son two gets this one. So the answer is how many daughters does Mr. Lee have? He must have three daughters. How many sons does he have? He must have two sons. So let's try to address the next part of the problem and let's erase all that. The next part of the problem says if each son got three chocolate bars and each daughter got six yogurt bars, how many snacks did Mr. Lee buy? So if each son got three chocolate bars, so this strip must represent three, this also represents three, and since this is same as this, this must represent 6 and it's also in the question so we know this has to be 6. So how many bars did he buy? He bought 18 yogurt bars and 6 chocolate bars. So altogether he must have purchased 24 snack bars. That's my answer. <clears throat>